Hello everyone! I'm back and I'm down here now so you guys can see the top left corner because I've seen that in the previous video that was kind of a problem in some cases. Okay, so let's load up the game. We were here. Cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. Right. More eyes too. You never mentioned the eyes. What eyes? Oh, those are eyes. Okay, I thought those are some specks of dust or something. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Yeah, so the place was pretty bad the first time, but now it's a little bit even worse. Huh? Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, so she's still evil and she clearly remembers. It's only the narrator which somehow has a memory loss episode. Okay, we need a game plan. Okay. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Okay, so we can't call, we can't talk to her anymore, right? Or we can't at least get close to her and talk to her? How is still no life? I'm going to talk to her. Uh, step off into the void between the stairs. Continue down the stairs in silence. Uh, how hard is it to throw a knife? I'm gonna talk to her. Didn't you hear my warning a minute ago? She can't be trusted. Talking won't do you any good. Something tells me she isn't gonna be very keen on talking anyway. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. I can see that. So now it's a maze down here. Okay, great. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Yeah, so as if we did not have enough problems already. Now we are into a freaking maze with this freaking otherworldly being who can shut down your organs by just standing next to her. Are you really not gonna comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. Yeah. Right, but he is the narrator. It's his job to describe what it is we are doing. I'm going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. So she doesn't like us anymore. Okay, that's wonderful. Go back the way you came. <laughs> you turn back to the stairs, only to find that they aren't there. That's great. A faintly outlined path lies before you. Okay. There you are. I told you I was going to find Why you. Why do you look like some kind of clown? As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Again. You're gonna die again. Your arms quickly follow. Come on. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. What is this thing? There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Yeah, we did do something in the previous life. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your blood begins to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Nerves, heart. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. So the voice of the paranoia is saving us. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? You have seconds. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. 
liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver. So this strange chant nerves, keeps us alive. Heart, lungs, what are you doing? Well, liver, I don't care what you're doing. Nerves, you're ha you're keeping us alive. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Nerves, you can't decide what you want to do, heart, can you? Lungs, Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. I don't think she's gonna let let us kill her now. Oh my god, that's a lot of <laughs> Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What happened after you came me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you live. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. I am not doing any of this. I am helping you leave and I'm not going to try and kill you. So do your worst. My nightmare. My door is slightly opening. Okay, she's not there, so we are good. So why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, oh, I don't have to. That's a strange answer. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then... So she does. Shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your back, lungs, liver, nerves. So she doesn't. Well, she tried to kill us. Yeah, she is constantly trying to kill us for some reason. One moment, and then you're gone. Just like that. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. What happened after you came me last time? What happened after you came last time? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... Okay, but at least she's honest. Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, and now you're here too. I see, so what we did cannot be erased. I don't think I can move without you, and dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Well, at least, well, now we know if she's a big threat to anyone, so I don't think she should. we should let her leave. At least we know she can't actually escape the cabin, just her chains. So should we just kill her and that's that? If we can, I don't think we can at this point, so... And if I let you out? If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Yeah, at least she's honest. Don't worry, I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. Lungs, 
At least we can talk to her, but this is a huge freaking number of things we can say. Being around you is an agony. We both know that you don't have a say here, so you should just look on the bright side. I'm not sure what the bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. I just died then. <laughs> we'll, we just ha we'll just come back then, so that's not an option. I am what I am, and right now, I'm in control. So, you might want to be a little nicer than that. He raises one long gloved finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. Mm, okay, she she's very... Sparing you another momentary glimpse of nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. If you want to work with can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. Okay, so she's not doing this on purpose. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Uh how about I just kill you instead? And what if I refuse to let out, let you out? What happens then? Then we're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Mm -hmm. Static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers. No, heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Only until your heart finally gives out. And then, when you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. Wow. Well, she just explained the game to us. Okay. Alright. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I know. You told me last time. Destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden, so violent, so little nuance. I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. I'm going to make it afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. Well, I'm practically doing a public good. So what harm is there really in letting me out? Ooh, she is getting awfully poetic here. Philosophical, even. Explore. I just died. Then. People will die if you do to them what you've done to me. Everyone dies eventually. They're all full of wet, writhing things, and in the end, each and every one of them gets unwound. And then those things get to become a new everybody. Just to come apart all over again. All I want is to be there for it. I want to watch it happen. And maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that really so much to ask? Yeah, it's quite a bit actually. How about I just kill you instead? The princess cocks her head, neck cracking uncomfortably. And you can't help but imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. Thinking about that knife, are we? About that little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to like what happens. Because even if you make me dead, you are not getting out of here. This place is mine. So she controls the place. Uh -huh. And I'm not giving you the stairs unless I'm leaving with you. We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave, and I'm not going to try and kill you. So do your worst. So let's get out of here. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. S -s Slay the princess. Run. You don't have to be enemies. We can work together. Okay, so she agrees with that. But I'm pretty sure she wants to be in control despite this so-called relationship. So that's probably not a good option either. And Mr. Paranoia is just chanting in the background. It's just background noise at this point, but yeah, he's working hard. So we should make a choice quickly enough, right? 
Okay, let's get out of here together. Fine, you win. What if we run? Turn and run, doing your best to put one useless leg in front of the other. You poor, Wrong choice. Uh oh. You get nowhere before the princess is in front of you once again. You're always going to be a coward. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth. Death. Birth again. Decay and bloom. A million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out. So we are seeing her life? A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment. Gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger. Rage. Distance. Poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. You guys seeing this? Let me out! Is this the evolution of her life? Of her existence? No, 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 no. No, no, what's, what's happening to him? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. If the narrator can you keep going. Keep going? Well, what are you talking about? The narrator is gone now. Oops. I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. We died again. Chapter 3, Chapter 5, Chapter 6, Chapter... Start, what? The moment of clarity. Okay, so we must have done something, right? Shit, shit. What? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? Okay, we are back now. <sighs> yeah, what the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. Oh, we have a new voice now. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? Ah, so now the narrator suddenly trusts us. Yes, it, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. But if we do that, she said we won't like it. We, we don't like this either, right? Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. Another voice! About it. She's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. Who? What? Where did this guy come from? Where did this guy come from? I didn't call him there. I didn't die. Hello? Voice of the opportunist. I did not do that. Did I Did I do it? Did I do that? Did you guys see me do that? I have not done any of no, that. We were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. I think. We tried it already. That was the first mistake we did. We're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? Another voice where, oh my god, I thought it's like at most one new voice per game session beginning. But no, suddenly it's like five new voices. We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. Ah, uh, alright. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. Yeah, sounds like a horror game. We love her, so we have to set her free. <laughs> Can we love something that hates us? Can 
can we love something that hurts us? Ah, uh, that's some Fallout Quest Project Project Horizons questions right there from P21 towards Blackjack. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you know, then congratulations on getting the reference. To be given an ounce of kindness <coughs> from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Uh huh. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. Yeah, that's what I think. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? I think they're all wrong. It's a question of happens. What if we don't go to the cabin? Oh my god. What if we don't go to the cabin? We've tried that. Have we? It doesn't work. Our hearts always brought us back to her. The deck is stacked. So many paths, and they're all. Circles. Circle. Circle. They are all circles, right? Circles, right? Yes, they are all circles, my friend. Okay, so getting back to his earlier question, how many times have you all been here? I think they're all wrong. Of course we're wrong. She's the only thing that's <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, obviously they're all wrong. What are you going to do about it? I like the smite, the smitten the best, I think. The hopeless heroic. Getting back to his earlier question, how many times have you all been here? Can you make sense of them? There's nothing worth making sense of. They're clearly all traumatized. Who is they? This is like the same person talking in different voices. Who is they? Are they part of us? Is this is is like is that us? The player? These voices? And yet you aren't. We break apart and you stay the same. That's a good point. That's a good point. The narrator does not change too much. Yeah, what's your secret? Why can you break the rules when we can't? Or maybe it's the other way around. We break the rules and he can't. How many times have you all been here? Many, 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 many Okay, so times. I speak to them like they're a different entity, so, it's, so they can't be me, right? They can't be us. They can't be you and I, guys. It's, this is some, these are some other creatures, apparently. It feels like we've been here forever. It also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. Yeah, and she seemed so trustworthy, didn't she? You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. Uh-huh. No. That's, I don't think that's how it works. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. Whoa, that's a long one. Okay. But that doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before this, and some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decision? I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. The only way out is to do nothing, so nothing I will do. What does here even mean, if you really think about it? Shut up. You were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it. Right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. You're well, lucky? to be able to forget. Okay, the hero is back. He, he, he was the first voice. I've tried to keep them up. They're all too soft. A shame, really. Damn numb. Okay, so who is the quad? Uh, who is the quad voice talking about here? If I don't remember what I did, then it should. It could not have been me that that did it, right? I feel so dis. Okay, okay, so this is the same thing. Let's continue this Don't train of thought. Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. You are awfully concentrated on trying to slay her. Are there no other options? Maybe you're shattered in your own way. 
right. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Ugh. Here you go philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. <laughs> yes, this is far from the first time you've asked us about consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? Who even cares? They're good questions. Great questions, even. But they don't have any answers. And they all just end in quivering torment. It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her. And if we don't find her, she always finds us. And then she smashes us into smaller pieces. If you all just stopped feeling, we could have been done with this ages ago. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. Okay, so this is us, and each time we get her riled up and get her angry at us, she smashes our minds into a million different separate emotions. Is that what's going on? I feel though so disjointed. I don't care how you feel. Wow. You have to slay. Oh, that's rude. You have to pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. Snap out of what? You're lucky you haven't been stuck here like the rest of them. There's no other way to keep going. You either need to forget or you need to stop feeling much of anything. They can't do either. He's not wrong. He's the only smart one left, if you ask me. <laughs> He's worse than her. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's an interesting proposition. The only way out is to do nothing, so do nothing. You do nothing. You can't just do nothing. You have to do something. Do I? That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? I don't think it will work. No. Nothing ever works. Boo! You're the worst one! <laughs> He's not the one who got us into this mess. At least I keep you breathing around her. Yeah, Paranoid is the good one. I, I like this guy. See? That's why the sad one's the worst. The jumpy one tries. Who cares? All of you just yap about nothing. And that kind of attitude is why you're in the top half. Great. And that's why you're not the top. <laughs> I want to see what nothing does for us. Right now, all of you aren't letting nothing happen. Hopefully this stuffs all the rest of them someplace quiet. You need me. And you need to not have them. Okay, so these are all emotions, right? What do you guys think? These are all emotions. These are all... These are all our emotions. And they have been scattered by the princess. And the princess is the one who has... Uh, who is essentially... So she can't kill us, per se. She just shatters our mind and changes the world around every time. Is that what she's doing? So, so far, that's what I'm seeing. Get killed by himself. Oh, all of us have gotten all the rest of us killed at one point or another. That's hardly even a concern now. As the little voices bicker amongst themselves, you do your best to stay still in the woods. It is difficult, and the more time you spend waiting, the harder it will be to sharpen your focus when you need it. I wonder what we look like right now. Are we standing? Sitting? I like to think we have an air of dignity. My point exactly. Continue to do nothing. Congratulations. You continue to waste everyone's time and do nothing. Wait, can you still hear me? Who's getting Ha! It's our turn to flip the table. What? This is the end, isn't it? Everything is wrong. What is that twisting feeling? We're so small. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Just another bout of nonsense. Again. I can't think anymore. Finally, I've just needed to leave for so long. I thought I would last without them. 
thought I was special. Well, it looks like this was a good idea. Something new is happening. Well done. Brilliant, even. Thank you. Right? Guys? It's a nightmare. Embrace the thoughts. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Guys, what did we do? Did we just restart the game somehow? You're here to slay. Okay. Don't linger on the specifics. Look, you're all... While I am... Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. So the narrator has something against princesses. Let's continue the cabin. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Mm. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So it seems like you reset. I'm wondering if at least the princess remembers something. The interior of the you t Maybe... Her voice. Who's there? She said, don't let it... Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. She's so... Focus on the task. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or she something? Doesn't, she doesn't seem to remember. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife. And maybe the two of us can talk things out. I we already tried that. You forgot. She's right. We shouldn't. We should just drop the blade. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. We are not killing someone in cold blood. We remember what happened, so tighten our grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? What makes you think I can't? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. 
she's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. Are you sure she's not armed? I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Yeah, you were so civilized with us the other time. The first time, actually. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Screens at the princess. You stare at the princess, squinting. She squints back. The two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to attack? Yeah, I'm sure. For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. Slay the princess! Charge the princess, blade in hand, but unfortunately your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You'd better finish your task quickly before you run out Narrator? Of well, I can trust you now. You said you are positive she has no weapon. With the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. The two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. Yeah, oh. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. So the same ending. The razor. Was the ra- okay, yeah, so depending on the first You're choice. In the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay, I think I understand now what this game You're is trying to do. To slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. It already was. We experienced it. It wasn't so nice. I already slew the princess. I can assure you that you didn't slay her, and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and if he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's- This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Oh no, it's just cheated. Stabbed to death? And you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. That's what you said before. Yeah, that's exactly what you told me Yeah, exactly. Time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. Yeah, exactly. It turns out she did, because when we charged her, she started stabbing us <laughs> to death. Calm down, I assure you she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. Those are two very different... Let's say for... You died last time. We did exactly what you said. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that. Again, because we did exactly what you said. Sounds to me like you probably had some kind of elaborate nightmare. In which case, I shouldn't be held accountable for what supposedly happened. But congratulations, you've been given a chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? You tell me. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Screw this. Who cares what happened to everyone else? She's not going to play fair, so we should do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. At least you know not to trust her, but you do realize that everything and everyone includes you, right? 
If you turn around and leave, you're dooming yourself as well as everyone else. She just caught us by surprise last time. She can't do that twice. So long as we're careful, we can win this. Okay. That's the spirit. Just keep that stiff upper lip, and you'll save the world in no time at all. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's try this. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. It couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Okay, let's hit. We're getting some progress done at least. The interior Ooh, of the she's mad a now. mess of warped wood and broken boards. Their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade. The blade is your... Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. The narrator still doesn't see the mirror, what okay. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or... Yeah, it's gone now. forward and rub. But there was a mirror a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. The cheated is kind of being the most reasonable one right now. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. So focus up. And take the blade. You take the blade. From it feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Okay. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what- That's right! Scraping! I told you she has something! I told you! Yeah, she has a weapon again. <laughs> that sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. But uh, even if she had no weapon, we clearly saw that she what she is, right? So I, I don't think she needs a weapon to kill us, so it doesn't really matter. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah. She thinks she's better than us, like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. Well, uh, she's standing up now, she's a little window, yeah. Her, uh, her cell is a little bit different now. And she's barefoot, I don't know where her shoes are. Maybe she, she was barefoot last time too, I don't know. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Well, now she's just hiding the blade, obviously, behind her, because she's doing like this, right? With her hands behind her back. I don't know what she's trying to do with that because she clearly is smarter than that than to play than to think that we are dumb right if she sounds threatening it's because her mask is already slipping she knows why you're here you are armed after all what are you waiting for you are here to rescue me right stab me aren't you do you remember what happened last time i know you have a knife I like to trust you, but you're being so suspicious right now. <laughs> we killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. Let bygones be bygones. But I'm not mad at you, so please stop standing so far out of reach. <laughs> I have absolutely zero doubts mm. that she is going to stab us if we get yeah, close we have to her. I'm, I'm using that. I'm not mad at you, so please stop standing so out of reach. <laughs> she certainly feels threatening. Yes, she does. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. That's the stupidest thing I've heard this whole game. Why would you even say that? But you know who is armed? You. 
but I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. Remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open and then he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, surely I would remember that. Well, he... Okay, so she actually does remember that. Wow. Interesting. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. There you go again, talking up delusions about a past life experience that clearly didn't happen. So she remembers, and we remember, but the narrator doesn't remember, okay. Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this, aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that loop back to the start, someone else has to remember. Exactly. Right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping. No, that's exactly what she is. If I come close to you, it's gonna stab me. What? No! No, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to... not stabbing distance to help me. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? Well, I love the facial expressions. Very nice. At We're least. clearly still figuring out our angle. Mm. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a yeah, distance. I love the art. I love the art style overall. It's 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 really great. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury? Right now? No, none of us are in a position of luxury right now. Actually, you're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Your entire world? What about... Is it... What? Why would you say your entire world? That's a little bit suspicious. What do you guys think? Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No. I have my dignity. Fine. And we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. So now we are fighting amongst ourselves. So you do remember it. Would I just lie? I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? Yeah. I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Aha! She slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. <laughs> Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. I know you have a knife. I let you out of here if you drop it. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Hey, awfully specific there. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. Why are you so convinced that she's not armed? Why would you do that? It just sounds like the narrative is actually against us on purpose. Prove it then. Prove it you don't have a knife. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. Uh... The princess smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Her smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. And empty sleeves, too! Look at how few stabbing implements I have. It's practically zero. Practically. Hiding is somewhere secret. I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like I'm lying, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Yeah, okay. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp. 
and flat. Her expression isn't the only thing that's sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. There? What you mean there? What is it? What is there? I'm inclined to believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. We killed each other last time. I'd rather not do that again. But if we killed each other, then why are we here? Right now. Both of us normal and unstabbed. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because this is not supposed to happen. Maybe because you have ziggly 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 us through the dimensions and now we are here thanks to you and thanks to the narrator. These two guys are working together to mess with us. That's the whole point, I think. The princess and the narrator are trying to mess with us right now. What if we're be both be what if we are both harnessed with each other? I was sent from here to stop you from ending the world and you and you stashed my spot last time. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Right? It does I sound think like I've you. Said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. I don't trust you, but you're so suspicious. Okay, what are you going to do if I let you out? All sorts of things, which is why I think that's a great idea. I would love to not be chained up down here. Being chained up is so boring, and I crave fresh and new activities to broaden my horizons. <laughs> I crave fresh and new activities to broaden my horizons. Out of here. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually with him on this. Okay, but what if all of this is just a misunderstanding? There has to be room for this to be a misunderstanding. Activities like stabbing or cutting or murdering. Yes, I mean, maybe. I've never done any of those things, but there is something alluring about the sound of it. I think it would also be fun to do other activities like look at a bird or touch a tree. Okay, now listen. You're not actually buying this, are you? Listen. Yes, I would like to look at a bird. <laughs> you can look at a bird later. But if we look at a bird now, we wouldn't have to be here. He has a point. Just make a decision already. Can we all just look at the bird when we are away from the princess and exclude her from it? Because she has killed us last time and I don't like that fact. Let's just do it your nose. Can we just talk things through? I don't have the key. Nobody has to die. Nobody has to die. Of course not! At least not now, because you're here to save me. But you'll have to come close. Okay, I'm bored now. <laughs> She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. Not in a way that matters. She's a prisoner. She's... <laughs> shit. In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. Yeah, you don't say. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance. At least for a moment. That was lucky. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. So she forgot that she has that. That's that's nice. And then she slices through her arm. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. Ah, shit. Okay, she's down an arm and we still have a weapon. I guess we'll have to use it. And use it you do. Fight again. But unfortunately for you and for the entire world. You are horribly outmatched. She has a much bigger... yeah. <laughs> you keep pace with her for a single brief and wordless exchange before she severs your hand and, with it, your only line of defense. She's even better at this than she was last time. Bloody cheater. I'm going to kill you now. At least she's honest. And with a squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, well, one thing I like about her is when she's lying, it's very obvious that she's lying, but when she's honest, she's honest. No, 
fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.